I'd rather have an ashy face that's protecting my skin. So we are finally trying on a whole bunch of different sunscreens. I know you guys are super excited for this video. You guys have been asking for this video and I've been wanting to do it for a while, so I'm super excited. I have makeup wipes right here. These are just from Target. Um, I'm gonna use to wipe the sunscreen off as we go. Okay, so you guys will have to excuse my eyebrows and my edges. So we are gonna start with Old True and Faithful Neutrogena. Now you're supposed to apply sunscreen with this rule of two, but we're not putting, we're going to be wiping this off, so I'm not going to do that, but I will show you guys how it goes on. So that's what it looks like. It kind of has like a bluish tint, um, but it's really just like that. And this is a water gel lotion, SPF 30. So if you have dark skin like me, you have a natural like SPF 13 in your skin. This is actually like more than halfway full so gone, so I really do use this. You guys can see this pretty much goes on. I'm just looking at it in the camera, not in a mirror, so you'll have to excuse me. But this pretty much goes on translucent. And I actually really like this sunscreen because it's very like moisturizing. The water in here feels so good. So I've been using the sunscreen a lot this summer. I go back and forth between a lot of sunscreens, you guys, just because I suffer with hyperpigmentation. So it's really important to me to try to protect my skin as much as possible. So as you guys can see, this blends in very well and we don't really have any whiteness left on my face. It just goes in really really well this is a pass for us we can definitely pick this one up if you guys see it they do sell it at target and you can also find it sometimes at ross and tj maxx so if you see this it's definitely dark skin friendly we love to see it this is a chemical sunscreen so you're not gonna get that bouncing off effect so yeah just remember that but this is a go for me all right next we have a pretty popular one i like this one a lot too it is the unseen sunscreen spf 40 by supergoop this one is a chemical one as well so it's not going to bounce the sun rays off your skin we can talk about the difference later so this one comes off very very clear you guys will literally see oh it has like a little bit of like a like creamyish yellow tint to it but for the most part, it is very, very clear. And we're only doing, you're supposed to do two fingers, but because I'm wiping this right off, we're only doing one. This is water and sweat resistant. So let me show you guys how it goes on. Literally super clear, like nothing to even worry about blending in. It's just very clear, can barely tell it's on. This stuff, amazing. Next, we have a super fan fave, a fave of mine as well. It's Black Girl Sunscreen, the original one. So this is ultra sheer, no right residue, and fragrance free. Show you guys how it comes out, because this has literally been everywhere with me. So I'll show you guys how this comes out. So it comes out white, which usually would scare a black person, right? But I'll show you guys how this goes in. It's a lot, right? And you can apply this to your face and your body. So we're just gonna go down. Honestly, you guys, this just is like, it leaves your skin feeling so good, like butter. It even feels good on my lips. And I think it's because it has a hope oil in it. Doesn't it? That looks so good. It feels so good too. I'm kind of sad I have to take it off, but yes. We love our black girl sunscreen over here. So let's get into some mineral sunscreens. This one I'm not going to show you the bottle because I actually had a tester sample because I used to work with this company. It's called City Beauty and this is their Skin Perfecting Daily Veil and this one, like the last one I'm gonna mention, I really do like because it goes on your skin like a primer. That's one thing I love about chemical sunscreens is that it goes on your skin like a primer. Um, so I'm not gonna show you the bottle because it's not how it looks, but I will put a picture up and of course I'll link it below as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it comes out on the finger still. So this is how it comes out on your finger. It kind of has this like pinkish tint i don't think you can tell i'm not sure if you could tell on camera i use this if i don't have my other one that i'm going to mention in a second i will use this on my face when i wear makeup because it's like a primer to me so i'll show you guys how it goes on 
again it's like a pinkish tint but it might not show up like that and yeah so this one it's really good to rub in right after you like slightly after you put on your moisturizer if you put on sunscreen right after you put your moisturizer on it's gonna crumble so you need to wait like there's a sweet spot in between there but yeah i only use this as a makeup primer because as you guys can see it starts to make me look ashy but i still like using mineral sunscreen on my face rather than chemical sunscreen because mineral sunscreen will bounce the light off my face and because i suffer with hyperpigmentation and dark spots that is what i need to allow my skin to kind of take a break from the sun and to let the sun not penetrate my dark spots more. Also, I find that um, some of the ingredients in here, I would have to do my research before I say, um, I think it's the dimethicone, makes just a really good primer for my face. So as you can see, as time goes on, it will kind of start to absorb into my face. Of course, not as good as a, a chemical sunscreen. I know it's kind of hard to keep track of the two it still leaves a little bit of a blue tint it's nothing too crazy but there is still a blue tint here but i love this as a primer because my skin is just so ready to absorb some makeup and it's really really good my skin just feels super 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 ready for makeup love it love it love it okay and i will link it or i'll put a picture of it here because again i don't want to show you the tester bottle my face is still ashy so i don't recommend using this as a sunscreen by itself but if you'd like to have a mineral sunscreen as your makeup primer totally recommend this your skin will just feel so good with this i promise so this one is 100 percent my go-to that i've just been using for such a long time now it is the super goop smooth and poreless 100 percent mineral matte screen um sunscreen it is dirty because it's always in my makeup box but here we are let me show you guys this one i just love this sunscreen it's so good to me so we're just gonna go here what it comes out it comes out as this brown tint i know that they have other ones now but we'll just focus on this one right now i just love how this goes on my skin so it goes here it feels like velvety kind of and this is just a bomb bomb i just love to use it as a makeup primer literally because i feel like it really helps uh, my makeup stay on my face it does not fully blend in though kind of like the city beauty one but it blends in and out. so it's like why i do when i do my makeup you guys are like oh your face is so ashy it doesn't matter to me because i know i'd rather have an ashy face that's protecting my skin and it's just very very temporary because i put makeup on on top but yeah this is my go-to it makes my skin feel so good i like to alternate between this and the city beauty one of course it doesn't make my skin feel as good as like the chemical sunscreens because those ones are like a little bit more hydrating to me but this one pretty much does the job for me as far as protecting my skin from the sun and being a makeup primer so i really don't buy makeup primers anymore because i'm like fully into just using sunscreen on my face so yeah again this is the smooth and poreless 100 percent matte mineral matte screen by super goop okay so next we have another popular one and that is the black girl sunscreen make it matte sunscreen now this is a gel one this one is pretty amazing kind of like the super goop unseen sunscreen and it kind of is also like the um, Neutrogenia one because it has that gel formula. So I'm going to show you guys how it goes on. It's a matte sunscreen. I'm just really amazed in how this one works. So I'm going to show you guys how it goes on my finger. Very gel water based. So it's going to kind of slide. Super, super liquidy. Like as soon as I put my finger up, it's definitely going to run and that's okay. And the amazing part is that this is going to make your skin matte super hydrating too oh my god this one's just amazing because of the texture and how it feels it definitely feels different from this one this one i'd say because i know it has the jojoba oil in it it feels a little bit more moisturizing but this one i just love how it doesn't leave a sheen on your face like it just leaves your skin smooth it dries down super smooth and this could probably be a good makeup primer too i haven't tried it underneath my makeup yet because i'm so committed to the other ones 
um, but once I do, I will let you guys know. This is definitely one that you wanna let dry down though um, before you apply more stuff on your face, even though like this would probably be the last step of your um, skincare routine if you don't put on makeup. But yeah, your skin feels smooth like butter and I just love how the water texture still dries down. Okay, and you guys know I am obsessed with Trader Joe's, so of course we had to try the Trader Joe's sunscreen up in here. So, I want to show you guys how it comes out. Okay, so this is how it comes out. It looks a little crazy. And this can go on your face and body. It is a SPF 30. Honestly, you guys, that goes on so beautiful. Like, Trader Joe's, come through. <laughs> so that is it for this sunscreen video. Comment below letting me know which one you like the best or which one you already use. Of course, the best sunscreen for you is the one that you are going to wear every day. You guys heard, I personally like mineral or physical sunscreens on my face because they do well as a primer, but chemical sunscreens for me usually will do the best on my body. I hope you guys enjoyed this try on and seeing how different sunscreens blend into my skin. I would love to hear more about what sunscreens you guys wear, if you even believe in wearing sunscreen. Some people love sunscreen, some people think it's ridiculous. Um, if you guys have any stories about how sunscreen has helped your skin, would love to hear that too. Just love bringing more awareness to ways to protect your skin and bring out the best you. So thanks again so much for watching. Check out some of my other sunscreen videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.